Hey there, Julian McBain here, and we are back with We Happy Few. So we are on our way up the elevator to meet the executive committee. I'm excited. No, 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 no. I want to hit the button. I don't want to... The truth. Oh, this is the point of no return. <laughs> this is what a way to start a video. You are about to reveal the truth. Are you ready? Once you go through these doors, you are done. Any adventures in Wellington Wells? Okay, well, yes, I'm ready to be done, but let's, uh... Let's eat some jerky first. Can't do it on an empty stomach. What the hell? Why do I have the feeling everyone up here is dead? Oh, no, nope, they're alive. Double plus on happy articles. What the hell happened here? Food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Mob are just... I think that they know it's all gone to hell in a handbasket. I think that... They know. Like, they're aware. They're just waiting for the end. This is a this is a party to Armageddon. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. The tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee? So. You people are in charge of the whole shebang. That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hark into the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Oh, God. We're going to meet Uncle Jack, and this shit's going to get real. Oh, my God. Oh, this, this is... Oh. Oh, look, a pie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Watch Uncle Jack be dead. I know, I'm just like super grim. They're gonna be dead. Hello? Hello! Here's Ollie! Hello! Time to pay the piper, Jack. Gardening with Uncle Jack. Notice how... Ah. I suppose this is where I could play a tape if I had one. Okay. No! I can't leave here ah. until everyone knows the truth. Jack's last tape. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! I think I was actually supposed to come in here first. Oh well. Whoa. This is Jack's makeup room. Pure water. 
Jack wasn't on Joy. In fact, I don't think Jack was ever on Joy. Okay, let's do this. No more exploring. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. I have the feeling Jack was trying to do exactly what all I wanted him to. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know, there are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Hmm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Huh. She likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. Like How'd you can that? The camera's doll. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret, yeah. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen. Do drop by to see these fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a 12 year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean. God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without her, so. So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. You're out. my... Neighbour. I was your neighbour. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. All have to stop. That they have to stop, stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. So that's, that's, wow. Wow, that is super heavy. I don't even know how to process that. No, I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. They've cut the power, the bastards. There's an emergency, one of those wheelie power thingamabobs. I can't see her. The wheelie, oh. We're going to make them work. You're on air. Watch out, That's someone's coming! Out. The bomber popper! More of them! Stop going away! Oh, I 
I've got to keep the damn wheel going. I said, George. The food's run out. We're off to stop you. Someone's coming through the copper. You have to stop taking your joy. Oh. Well, lad, this is what we train for. Have to stop. Stop. Stop it. Someone's coming through the popper. Oh my god, this is some pressure. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Someone's coming through the popper. I'm one person, Margaret. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. Running out of power. Ah. Come the end of our time. I guess walking out the front door is out the question. Good thing I made you get that float. Now we're on a time. Okay. Out we go. Pretty sure this is it, folks. And here we go. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. That was the You're right. You're always right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. So that's it. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Stucky! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Yeah. Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it! It's a fucking terrible day for it! Lovely day for fucking war anyway! Oh my god! Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm you know, you can going tell he's Scottish. home! What about Scotland? Yeah! <laughs> okay, wow, so that was heavy. So Ollie was the one who actually turned in Margaret. Oh, there's an epilogue. Are you all right, sir? I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The food's run out. You have to stop taking your joy. Perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget and go back? I was happy before. Oh, that's a black person. I? Oh, they give you one final choice. 
No, we're remembering. Are you really a constable? I patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Oh my god. Oh, that was amazing. Okay. Okay, so... Wow. Wow. Way to go, Compulsion. Uh, overall, the game was awesome. I can't believe it took us this long to complete the bloody thing. But uh, it was very well designed. If I do have a couple of niggles, and I know some of it's in the glitches, and some of it's in stuff that they're they're still ironing out because there were like four updates just in the time it took me to play this. Um, all of which, some of which broke a couple things, and then later patched them to fix them. So I'm gonna kind of dump the whole gameplay issues, um, other than perhaps having the random, you know, the extra spawns on Ollie Starkey. I think that made our time with him unnecessarily difficult. Although part of that was because I wasn't patient enough to go find a boiler suit which i could have honestly had less than halfway through and that was my fault so yeah there is that 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 that's bad julian um the storyline was intense and none of it was contrived i like a lot of the uh they put in a lot of references to dystopic futures like uh well the most obvious one was george orwell's 1984 and the whole game is pretty much a, a, a new take on a Brave New World. So, just the way they did the whole game is awesome. And the twist at the end was nothing I was expecting. It really wasn't. And so that was well done. I never saw it coming. Well done, Compulsion. Uh, I do think that Ollie's section was just a little bit more profane than it necessarily had to be, but that's okay. He's Scottish. Um, oh wow, I'm just, I am still just blown away by the whole story and the twists. Just all the twists and turns. And the person I expected to have the serious twist was very straightforward, and that was Sally. So, just keeping us guessing Compulsion. I can't wait to see Compulsion put out another game. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what the studio does in the future. So, I'm going to let the credits roll, and, uh... Cal, we'll see you next time. Shitty day, kid. What a name. Oh, there is something I do want to review. Overall, I think that Arthur's storyline... Arthur's storyline was probably the most fun to do. Um, I think Sally's, though, was the most interesting. And I know that sounds a little weird, but if I were reading a book, I would find that if this was a book, I would find reading Sally's section was a lot more more interesting. But the gameplay for Arthur was just so ridiculously tight, and all the side quests were just... There, there were just enough out-there side quests, like the V-Meat house, 
It just it was it was just fun. Lots and lots of fun. Had to throw that in there. I'm kind of impressed at the number of credits that this game has. Well, I guess it is technically a triple I game, so it would have a large crew. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry guys, I can't take the music anymore. I'm hitting the escape button. Uh, again, just a fantastic job to everyone who worked on this game. I really can't, can't thank you enough for an amazing job. So, looking forward to the next one. Oh, there's a post credits. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it! Lovely day for it! I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. It's a child. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. <laughs> There's a shitty day, kid. Alright, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. Visit my website, mcbainmanor.com, and my sponsor, Critical Links. We will see you in the next game. Bye bye.